Let us learn balancing of equation. This topic is under ICSC standard 8 syllabus from the chapter language of chemistry. This topic is very important because you are going to learn a next two segment in respectively standard 9 and standard 10 syllabus. So this is the basic of this topic. So balancing of chemical equation. What is the meaning of balancing of chemical equation? We do know that there are certain reactants and there are certain products in the chemical equation. When the reactants are equal to the product, for example, how many atoms I am keeping in, how many atoms I am putting in into the chemical reaction, those many atoms only I am going to get at the end of the reaction. Nothing should be added or there is no change in the number of atoms when the any chemical reaction will happen. So nothing is going to miss or nothing is going to add apart from those total reactants, those atom of the reactants. So those things we have to balance. We have to check the number of atoms what are present in the reactant side and we have to make it same with the products. So let us see. First example, here I have sodium oxide plus water will gives us sodium hydroxide. Let us first check this equation is balanced or not. How to check that? This is my reactant side and this is my product side. So how many atoms are there in total? Sodium is there, oxygen is there. Then Hydrogen is there. This oxygen I have already mentioned here. So let us first count how many number of atoms are there. How many sodium are present? Two. How many oxygen are present? So when you are counting oxygen, please see that in another molecule also oxygen is there. So this is one oxygen, this is second oxygen. So there are total two oxygen. Now hydrogen. How many hydrogens are there? Two hydrogens are there. So, there are two sodium, two oxygen and two hydrogen. Let us check from the product side. It is sodium, oxygen and hydrogen. Sodium is also one, oxygen is also one and hydrogen is also one. So, if you will see, all are double in the amount compared to the product. So, when you are balancing and chemical equation you have to add certain number to the front of any reactant or product. You cannot add anything in the subscript. Always you have to write at the front because when you are going to add, you are going to add a molecule. You cannot add any particular atom. So if you are writing here 2, 2, 2 then it is wrong. Like this you cannot balance any equation. Whenever you are balancing you have to write any number over here, here and here. If you will see all are 2 and all here are 1. You cannot make it less also. You cannot take out any molecule. So only thing you can do is you can add a molecule. So if I want to add then if I will add here a 2. Then let us check now. After adding 2 here, what is a condition of my product here? So how many Na is there? When 2 is here, it is applicable to all the atoms over here. It is applicable to sodium, oxygen and hydrogen. So how many sodium are there? 2. How many oxygen are there? 2. How many hydrogens are there? 2. So if you will see all are 2 here and all are 2 here. So now my equation is balanced. Earlier it was Na2O, H2O and NaOH. So I have added 2 here and now my equation is balanced because 
all the number of atoms in the reactants are similar with all the number of atoms in the product. So this equation is balanced. Let us take another example. NO plus O2 will give us NO2. So let us write all the atoms are present at the reactant side. It is nitrogen and oxygen. In both the molecules there are only two atoms. Nitrogen and oxygen. So nitrogen is only one here. When we are counting oxygen, we are counting oxygen from both the molecules. So it is 2 plus 1. It is going to be 3. Now let us check at the product side. In product side, only one molecule is there. So in that, nitrogen and oxygen. Nitrogen is 1 and oxygen is 2. Now let us compare them. Nitrogen is 1, nitrogen is here also 1. So we don't need to balance nitrogen. Here oxygen is 3, here oxygen is 2. So we have to balance oxygen. So as we discussed earlier, we can add any molecule at both the side and we cannot add any atom. So if we are going to add here 2, we cannot add anything here. We, can, we have to always add any number of molecule at the front. So let us check this. How many nitrogens are here now? Nitrogen is 2 and now our oxygen are 2 plus 2. It is 4. This is our new atoms. So now here it is 2 and it is 4. It has already doubled. So if I am going to write here 2. So now 2 and 4. So this equation is balanced. What I have done is I have added 2 NO at reactant side. So they both became double. This 2 and this 2 became 4. So here I have also added 2. So this 2 NO and all together 4 oxygen. So my equation is balanced.